Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to run through QuickBooks. We're also going to run through Sage. Now, you might be wondering what features they have, what they cost, and which one you should be using to manage your business. Well, because your needs are unique, let's check them out and see which one you should be using. So the first thing we're going to jump into is QuickBooks and have a look at a few of the features and highlight some of them. So, of course, what you can see here is the dashboard. The dashboard allows you to have an overview of everything that's happening within your account and your business. So you can see invoices, you can see all of your sales, you can see some of your profit and loss, your link bank accounts, and you can add some shortcuts here as you please. One of the other things that I'd like to talk about here is going into the transactions and jumping into rules. Now, when you're creating rules in QuickBooks, what you're essentially doing is creating one flow and then allowing the flow to reoccur in the f future as you set it up. So if you want to go ahead, give your rule a name. We are just going to name it rule one. And this can apply to money that's going in or out. And now let's just say out and you can connect a bank account if you have multiple bank accounts connected to your QuickBooks account. You can also have either all of the mentioned above or any of the mentioned above. So what you can put in over here is a description, either the description or the bank text or the amount. So you can say that the amount is equal to, it doesn't equal to, it's greater or lesser than, and you can add a value. Okay, so... Let's just put in a random value and you can then go ahead, test the rule. You can also add an assign or exclude over here. So once you've completed this, you can go ahead and save this. Now you do need a bank account created so this can work. But essentially you'll be setting all of this up so it all works without you having to do it manually. You can also, of course, manage absolutely everything yourself within QuickBooks. And the reason I like QuickBooks is because it's easy for a beginner to jump in and start using it without having to have any real prior experience with bookkeeping or accounting at all. We're going to have a look at Sage now, and Sage has quite a bit of features, as you can see. Um, one of the nice things about Sage is also you can go ahead and you can add a bunch of different apps into your Sage account so that you don't have to jump around from a CRM to your marketing to your accounting. So it's all done in one space, and it's actually quite awesome. They also have quite a bit of um, different packages. So if you are using perhaps just their package where you're using their accounts, that is one package. But they also have other packages which you can subscribe to and it'll cover different aspects of your business. So some of the other features over here is that they have a mobile app. That is fantastic. That means you get to jump into Sage on the go. Doesn't matter where you are, you can jump into the app and you can check on your reports or you can find information without having to have access to your laptop or desktop and uh, you don't have to jump into your office. You can also see over here that there is some time tracking and uh, some project tracking so you can really keep tabs on what's actually going on within your Sage account. So if I have to go ahead and look at QuickBooks and look at Sage, they're both equally sort of in the running for being really, really good accounting software. However, I'm going to have to go ahead and say that QuickBooks is probably better and feels a little bit nicer to use and it feels a little bit easier as a beginner. So somebody that doesn't have a whole bunch of accounting experience, it's probably a better option. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and check out some of our other comparisons on the channel. And we'll see you next time, people. Peace out.